Hi everyone, this is Primate from the Quagos. Um, I'm coming from a slightly different location today. I'm still in the studio. I'm actually behind the drum kit today. I'm not actually playing it. I just thought that this would be a good place to make a video from. Although you can't actually see anything. Um, my voice is probably making weird noises because of the echo in the, you know, the various drums and all that. But it's actually, the camera is actually sitting on the hi-hat at the moment. So, hi-hat. Oh, that was a lame joke. <laughs> I had to do it. Uh, anyway, uh, you can probably see there's a bit of a symbol here. Um, but yeah, so anyway, the reason for this video is just to give you a quick um, catch up as to what's happening as far as the next album and the next video and all that. Uh, you may notice that there wasn't a video last week. Well, there was a sort of, there was the from the black box thing, which I did instead. And the reason for that was really just that um, I had this video planned out that I didn't quite get around to making in time and all that. So I thought, well, I'll put that out. And I was doing those sorts of things anyway. So I thought, well, I'll put that out roughly around the time I would have done the video for the next song from, from the uh, Eternal Candlelight album. Um, but that didn't work out. So um, I've been filming today, just now, actually. It's actually after midnight. And I think this is probably the latest I've ever put makeup on. I don't always wear makeup for the videos, but I thought, why not? Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different for this video, so you'll see that within the next coming days. Um, still in costume, so it's so an interesting thing for this video as well. But again, I thought, I've got makeup on, I may as well make use of it. Um, so yeah, the next video is for a song called a million, One Million Years. I always often make a mistake of it, but it is One Million Years. Um, it's a sort of sci-fi themed song, which kind of fits with the whole narrative of the band being from the planet Quagar and all that kind of thing. So um, we've actually been able to get the permission to use right, the rights to use some footage from the Hubble telescope for that, which is going to be really cool. Um, and I'm about to start editing that now. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one, I think. Um, well, I think I'll, I think I'll probably be happy with it. I don't know how everyone else will feel about it, but we'll we'll see when it gets out there. So yeah, and that's pretty much that for the videos. Uh, I'm going to try and get two out this weekend, just because I didn't get one out last weekend. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure what the other one's going to be yet. It might actually be a new video for a song from the from the first album, Dodge City Tombstone. Uh, but again, I've not quite decided. I've, I mean, I've got all of tomorrow and Sunday to do it, so we'll wait and see what happens. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's happening with that. Uh, what's happening with the next album? Um, well, I've actually written what's going to be... It's not the last song on the album. The last song on the album has been done for ages. But it's the last song that I'm actually writing for the album. So this album, as you know, it's a very personal album. It's a concept album about my transition. Um, so that's quite a difficult subject to work about. It's also it's difficult writing an entire album about one subject. I usually tend to write sort of one song about this and one song about that. And sometimes my songs aren't specifically about anything. <laughs> so to actually try and stick to a subject for as long as this, as this album goes. Um, that's been a real challenge, but it's been a fun challenge and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's been good to work with some new collaborators and, and all that, and I think they're all gonna, a lot of them are gonna play a, a big part in the future of the Quagars. Um, so there'll be more about that in the future when we get to it. But yeah, so the, the, um, the next, this one song that I'm working on at the moment is got the title at the moment, Never Give Up the Fight. Which is kind of, it's a generalized anti-bullying anti -bullying song as well as anything else, but it sort of fits in nicely to the whole narrative of where I'm going with the concept album. Uh, that was another one I've written with Nini Cat, uh, who's got uh, the baby face disgrace, I think it's called. I'll, if I remember, I'll put a link in the, in the description. If I don't, I apologize. Uh, but you'll be able to find her. It's a video gaming channel where that she causes all kinds of mayhem in in video games. Um, so yeah, she'd written this thing about a year ago. It was just an unfinished idea. And I took the, the demo that she had and sort of looped sections of it, added a drum track, and I've written vocals for it, written lyrics for it, but I haven't recorded that yet. So that's probably gonna happen over the weekend too. Um, and I really think this turned out really well. Um, 
I think it's turned out to be quite a strong song and uh, it, again, fits in well with the album. Uh, the other thing I've been working on this week is a, a collaboration with Ethereal, uh, who may also be making an appearance on the album at some point. Um, she's got a single coming out and she asked me to do a remix um, for, for that one. So that'll be, um, if you find, uh, again, uh, if I remember to put these links in, I'll put a link to her, her page so you can read more about that there. Um, but that was really fun. I recorded some live drums to it over the top of the drum machine that she'd used on it. Uh, I used some samples of stuff that we'd recorded with the Quagars that had never been used. Um, there was a little bit of a solo that I'd scrapped from a song and things like that. And it's just sort of, there was also the, there was also the other thing we used some of the, um, when we were, when we went to this one point, we were re-recording the second album. Um, which is where a lot of the albums, the drums for the third album have come from. Um, those sessions, we thought, well, why waste all of this? We basically re-recorded all the drums for the second album and then decided not to use it. Um, but on one of the things we did do is we re-recorded the song The Murderer, and it had this kind of Indian instrumental intro to it, which didn't make it to the album version. Uh, and the version of the murderer that we went with was a bit shit, so it's why we went back to the original. Um, but I always quite liked that intro, so I thought, well, I'll find somewhere to put it. So it's actually, it's in reverse, and it's sort of this weird, to make this kind of weirdness to it. You'll hear it when you hear the, the thing with Ethereal. I'm not sure when that's going to be out, uh, but I believe it's going to be on the CD release and the Bandcamp release of a of her single that's coming out, which I wish I could remember the name of, but it's gone completely out of my head. And as usual, I don't prepare for these videos. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy the One Million Years video and whatever other video I decide to make this weekend. And uh, yeah, I hope that the drums haven't made my voice sound too weird, or weirder than it already sounds. So, all right, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Um, give this a thumbs up if you want to. Um, or there's a thumb down option, but I'd prefer it if you didn't go with that one. But if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I can't control that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, yeah, see you next time.